It's a bit of a weird week this week when you think about it. All right. Owing to the fact that Easter's literally only a couple of days away. But if we keep a simple perspective over this, it's Wednesday. It's normally middle of the working week. And being a Wednesday here at the Backyard Tech Channel, you're watching the Backyard Tech Channel Midweek Update. Morning all. Well, it is Wednesday. It is sort of middle of the working week, although it's a short week here in Australia. Um, but nevertheless, it is midweek update time. It's also the last day of content here at the Backyard Tech Channel for the week too. Um, for those that are aware, I leave late later on this morning, I should say, uh, for a few days break. Now, before we get any further, apologies for last night. No live stream convo here at the Backyard Tech Channel. The other half and I forgot we had a function to go to last night that we, by the time we realised it was on, it was too late to get out of. Um, I did put on the Facebook group yesterday, NLST, um, but that's the reason I wasn't around last night. Um, yeah, I've got to be honest with you, okay? Every year about Easter time, I have the same problem as I do at the end of the year towards Christmas time. I start forgetting about things. Like I've got functions on, things to go and do in the lead up. I just forget. Actually, that brings up another good point. In order for me to forget something, I've got to have the ability to forget. I'm not sure I have that ability. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of these mornings here at the Backyard Tech Channel. You can guarantee it. Also, you may have noticed a new style of intro uh, for the uh, for our my eye dance here. I've been playing a lot more around with Da Vinci lately, so I'm making modifications. I guess you could say. It's just on ten past seven in the morning here, and before we get into the rest of the midweek update. Mmm, coffee time. Oh. Yeah, that's good coffee. That is good coffee. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the midweek update and then I'll let you know what else is going on. And we kicked it off with a new story regarding a new, new medical technology as a real game changer for eye surgery here in Melbourne. And this is regarding this microscope that's helping a ophthalmologist or ophthalmic surgeon, whatever you want to call it, repair the macula inside a human eye. I've got to say, these, these good news medical technology stories that we've been doing here lately at the Backyard Tech Channel, I'm enjoying, mainly because they're good news, they're good medical technology, and the, the advancements we're making in this sort of stuff is in leaps and bounds, more so now than maybe even a decade ago, give or take. So um, we saw that, as I said, a ophthalmologist in Melbourne was able to give a patient back 100% of the vision after repairing the macula. And what is it? The macula is like 250 micrometers thick or something, you know, quarter of a millimeter. And here you've got this microscope that's giving him cellular detail and it's fantastic. And I'm not being sarcastic. It is fantastic. We then did the UPS swap out in the, at the desk here and power recabling. And as we saw, that didn't go to plan <laughs> as per my plan. Obviously, the Eaton 5110 had a dummy spit and isn't working properly. Um, did get a couple of questions regarding, am I leaving the cyber power down here? Yes, I'm going to try and get one out of two of either the 1500 or the 5110 Eaton UPS is working one way or another. So we're going to look at that um, probably next week and I'll bung it back upstairs. We had the Sunday night edition of the Backyard Tech Channel live stream conversations. We had the TBI in promo where I basically said it wasn't Monday. We did a product review video on Prime OS Mainline 0.4.5. Now this is an Android operating system for PC that basically opens up the entire Android gaming market. I had a bit, a bit more of a bash around in it yesterday, and I gotta say, 
it's actually quite easy to use when you've got it on a big screen compared to a mobile phone screen. So it's actually pretty good. Very good. We then did the video on changes that I've made to my home theater system upstairs. A couple of minor mods, mods I've done. Um, took out the old SFF um, media PC that I was using. Got rid of the um, small Blu-ray player that I had and um, basically connected up my old LG DVD HDD recorder and I'm just using the hard drive side of it rather than the um, DVD side of it. I don't need it. I got my nice Blu-ray player. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, and that worked really well. I recorded a show last night and it, yeah, it was actually pretty good, which is nice. We had the TBIM edition of the Backyard Tech Channel Livestream Conversations. Then yesterday, we had the Tuesday promo. And then I did the news story on new medical technology out of Switzerland that has helped a paraplegic man walk again. You definitely can't be cynical about this new news story either. I've got to say, I'm enjoying covering these happy medical technology stories. Um, the leaps and bounds I reckon we've made in the last decade is phenomenal. And I see last night on the news, which I haven't actually found online yet, uh, either in, I think it's here in Melbourne or somewhere, they're growing hearts using 3D printers of human sem stem cells. They can't get it to beat yet, but they've made a human heart. They 3D printed it. If I find it, I'll bung the news story up today. If not, I'll try and find it and we'll have a look at it next week. So, but ha yeah, this this guy over in Switzerland, um, you know, after a few epidural treatments, his spinal cord nerves and uh, are repairing themselves and now he's able to pretty much walk again unaided for short periods of time. You know, the leaps and bounds we've taken in the last decade are phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So, there we are. Midweek update done. Now, as I said, it is the final day of content here at the Backyard Tech Channel for the week. Um, I'm leaving later this morning for a few days up in Bendigo. I'm due home sometime Sunday, Arvo. So... Um, now, for those wondering, am I going to get off-road? It doesn't look like it. We've uh, got a couple of um, social events, shall I say, if I actually remember, <laughs> uh, going on up there uh, while we're up there. I do want to try and get a couple of mechanical repairs done up there while I'm there, so might even do that Good Friday, and uh, I'll get a couple of videos out or record a couple of videos while I'm up there. Um... So, there, that's what's on the cards for the week ahead. What I will say, though, as this is the final day of content for the week here at the Backyard Tech Channel, and also in the lead-up to Easter, I know this is a long midweek update, but um, please, for all my viewers and subscribers here at the Backyard Tech Channel, have a very safe and happy Easter. If you are hitting the road, like I am, for crying out loud, try and be safe. My Australian viewers, if you are heading away for the Easter break, take it easy on the road. I know here in Victoria, we are having an absolute horrific time with the road toll. So all, to all the viewers and subscribers here who do support my little corner of YouTube, please have a very happy and safe Easter. And uh, depending on how much of a chocolate, chocolate holic, chocoholic you are, um, well, I assume if you download way too much chocolate over the next few days, you'll probably be right until the end of the year. But as I said, please have a um, please have a very safe and happy Easter. And if you are on the road, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. For crying out loud, just be safe on the road, please. Um, I'm certainly going to take it easy getting up to Bendigo. So my Victorian viewers who know the Calder Highway, old mate will be taking it very easy going up the Calder towards Bendigo. And for one of my viewers who lives not too far from Bendigo, um, I won't be going up at a great rate of knots. All right. Um, he's actually a good mate of the Backyard Tech Channel. I'm speaking of gone golding. So, uh, Andy, <laughs> I will be careful coming up that Calder freeway today. Don't you worry about that. There we are. Midweek update done. If I find that news story about growing 
hearts 3d printed from stem cells i'll bung it up today otherwise we'll look at it next week i know it'll be a week old but i, I want to get it out as a news story so there we are enjoy your easter midweek update done i hope to see you well i should see you sunday night if not i will see you on monday enjoy your easter guys cheers